Uh, hi, your name is? John Wilson. And you're with? I'm with Code Blue TO. And what is Code Blue? Code Blue is a sort of a virtual group of people who came together in, in cyberspace and in real space, I suppose, last year to try to, um, to make some sense of what the city was trying to do to their portlands and our waterfront and trying to save it, basically. Uh, and we were able to, uh, I guess we were able to get a lot of people engaged because um, the city came together, people came together from all over the city to try to deal with uh, some of the strange issues, the strange ideas that were floating around. We got it, I think, back on track and uh, I'm hoping that, very hopeful that we're going forward. Uh, we're just outside the executive committee meeting. Mm -hmm. There was a vote. That's right. Um, if you could maybe just decipher the vote, the part that you were concerned with, your mm -hmm. group was concerned with. Sure. Because a lot of people are, they're hearing the word Portland's. Mm -hmm. They're confused about it. Yep. They don't really know what it is. Yep. Um, well, the part that I'm really concerned about is that the naturalization of the Don River goes forward. There's great reasons to do that in order to you know, have a place for fish and frogs and a place for people to enjoy nature in the city on our waterfront. And there's a great reason to do that because a natural system like that can contain disastrous flooding. And we know that from uh, New Orleans and we know that from other parts of the world. A healthy natural system helps contain flooding. So what I'm very pleased with is that we seem to have still in place a strong uh, project to naturalize the Don River. The public has come together and we, one of the things we asked the council to do now is to look at ways that they can make that happen even, even faster. It's not going to be done overnight. It's a big, big project and a lot of money is going to have to be spent. We're hoping that it can be done in phases so that some areas are able to be protected and then other areas are able to be protected. We want to get as fast, I want to get as fast as possible out of danger's way the parts of the city that where people live and work today where flooding can happen. So I, that, I'm glad to see it moving forward quickly. Great. And if people want to learn a little bit more of uh, what you just explained, the website or... Sure. Um, well, there's a uh, Portland's Consultation website, portlandsconsultation.ca. I think that's where you'll find all the, the relevant documents. Code Blue TO, uh, Google that one, and you'll find a lot of the, the, the public input, public people who are coming together around the, the issue. And um, uh, those, are, those are two good ones. Of course, the city and Waterfront Toronto both have, and Conservation Authority as well, Toronto Region Conservation Authority. Okay. Um, well, to be fair to the current administration, a mm -hmm. year ago they had uh, an idea, mm -hmm. and we're now a year later and they've had the vote on that idea of right. accelerating something. Mm -hmm. um, I did see you working on different councillors um, across the spectrum. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, to be fair to the current administration, there was some positive outcome to the process that a lot of people thought is it maybe shouldn't have started. Yeah, um, I think it, it perhaps got started on a sour note. Yeah. Let's put it that okay. way. Yeah. It's a process that needed to happen. There was a bit of a sour taste in our mouths mm -hmm. the first uh, month or so. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that everybody came together, including the city's administration, including councillors who are usually on the other side of the aisle, so to speak, as well as the public and, and the agencies. And after a year of hard work, uh, we've got ourselves back on on track, I think. I okay. believe that we have. And, and, you know, I mean, as a citizen, we're going to keep at keep at looking, you know, making sure that the watchdog, you know, effect is still going on. We want to keep looking and keep watching and keep being engaged. That's the only way I think that it, that uh, that great cities happen is that the public gets out there and makes it so. All right, uh, John with uh, Code Blue To, thank right. you very much. It's uh, uh, Monday, September the tenth, two thousand and twelve. Thank you very much.